All right, we're back after letting this dry just a little bit. Um, well, more than a little bit. Uh, but I did a little, I did a small amount of work um, while we were away. And um, I'll do a little bit more right now. Uh, but I didn't do much. I put a little detail on the leaves. Um, I put a little detail on this branch here, and I did a little small amount of background painting. Um, I'm going to put a little bit more detail on this plant, just on this bottom part here. There we go. Okay. And, um, so now I'm coming to the part where I'm, I'm just doing a little bit of detail work, giving a little bit of definition, um, doing a little, little bit of darkening on a couple spots here that I think need it. And this is the best part about doing layering is that you can darken the areas that need darkening, right? If, it, if you see something and you're like, well, that could be just a little darker, like this right here, I noticed as I'm looking at the bottle, there's a little bit of a darker area here. I'm just gonna make sure I show that off by putting a little bit more right there. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got so far. So we've done probably five different layers on here. And this is pretty normal for a painting. Um, I'm going to put a little more detail on the camera. Um, I've got my trusty black with a little bit of red in it here. And notice what I've done on my paper. So I've tested, I keep testing stuff to make sure that it's right, right, before I put it on my actual painting. So I'm looking to see exactly how I want these to look, right? So. a little bit more detail here. Okay. Got a little bit of a darker black there because I want to highlight, not highlight, but low light here. So you do have to be careful because you notice I, I did that and I had a little bit of overflow. I'm gonna block that up a little bit. I don't really want it over there. So get rid of that just a little. I'll just fill in there without there we go. Yeah, so I'm, as I'm looking at my um, at my lens here, I can see there's a lot of reflection in it. Um, there's definitely some darker areas. I'm gonna just put a couple of these, what I consider a little darker areas before I paint the whole thing. And you'll notice that I've already put some crayon in there, right, so that I can have that dark. Um, I can paint over it and still leave some light areas there. I can see there's some real dark right here. Let me just get that so we can really feel that, feel that darkness there. So you notice I'm going from light to dark, right? I'm, I'm, I did a lot of this dark stuff and now I'm putting more dark on. Um, as I'm looking over here on the corner, I'm seeing, I'm seeing a couple spots that I can kind of kind of uh, deal with here. Okay, so that's looking really good. I'm, I think I'm, I'm coming along pretty well with this. And 
I'm kind of excited about it. This is this is looking really nice. And um, as I kind of put the last of my little detail in, right, uh, it's coming along really well. So I'm, uh, I'm going to do a little bit more on the leaves, okay? And then I'm going to do, I'm going to work on the bottle just a little bit. And this will be kind of my last work on the bottle because I mixed up some, a little bit of blue, uh, some blue with a little bit of green in it. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick wash over because that's going to be the difference between the background and the bottle. Remember, you don't want to use white. We rarely use white in watercolor because it actually um, can actually uh, be too uh, opaque, and then you lose that you lose that really nice um, transparency that you get with watercolor. So you notice I put a little bit more detail on the leaves. I'm going to do a little, just do a little bit more, really lightly, right? We don't want to we don't want to overdo this because this can this can look, it, you can make it look like too much if you're not careful. I'm gonna put a little tiny bit more detail, going a little bit darker on that center line there um, where the leaves are. And it's, it's a little bit of detail. I mean, it's nice, it's nice to see that detail. See, um, I'm just putting a little bit of darkness on this uh, very lightly, right at the real tip of my brush, just having a little bit of, of uh, more depth to the leaves. Right. And I'm looking at what I'm, I'm looking at the leaves. I mean, I'm not, this is not an exact thing. You can put as much or as little detail as you want to into these types of, of, uh, of paintings. Um, sometimes a more of a sketchy painting looks good. Um, sometimes, you know, putting this more detail makes a huge difference in how the overall painting looks. So here I am, I'm going to take um, this blue that I mixed up and it's very watery. And it's very watery because I just want a real light little, um, little bit here. So I'm just going to, right, I'm painting over what I've already done. Let me make sure the tape's down tight so I, I don't lose my my highlights here. And I'm just washing over it really lightly. I want to be real careful with it. Right, I don't want to go too much out of the way, but I want this whole bottle to have just a little bit of a blueness to it. Right, notice I'm not painting in lines. Right, there's no lines here. And it's just Just some kind of strokes of, of this blue. And I'm just wanting to make sure that it goes all the way down. So I see, I see it on all the sides. So I'm gonna stroke it over here too on this side. I need to get a little bit more water in there. All right, so this is real subtle. Right? I'm not making something that looks that looks real, and I'm going right to the edge of the camera here because this is where it's at, right? Making sure that it goes right down so it looks natural. So when this dries, then I can peel this tape off that I that I put on, right? And you're gonna see that there's the difference between the background and the, and the bottle is just this little color here. It's very subtle, right? We don't need to make it look uh, like completely a different color, um, but I'm just differentiating the glass by having just a little bit of, of this little blue. And look how light it is, it's just barely anything. And then I want to brighten up um, my, uh, my pot here. So I have a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna put just a little yellow over it again, just really lightly. Um, well, I don't want it too dark. All right, I put a little dark. Remember, I put some dark on it earlier to darken up that middle part. Well, I don't want it too dark, so I'm going to do one more layer here of some light, some lighter yellow. Um, 
and just kind of bring it through, make it look more natural. Okay. Um, and you can see what I did is I, I did put a little bit of the background in. I put, there's, it's sitting on the pot. These things are sitting on a, on a wood bench. So I put kind of this kind of wood color in so you can kind of see this background here. Um, and I'm going to do just a little bit more of that, um, just a tiny bit, because I can see that I need to fill in a little bit around here. So as long as I'm here, I'm just going to kind of, kind of daub a little bit in. So I don't want it to look kind of natural. So obviously I don't want to put too much. It'll overdo it. But I do want to make it look as though this is camera is sitting on a wood bench, right? So I have a little bit of brown here kind of on the bottom. And you can see where I did my little shadows and stuff. I have a shadow for the, um, for the pot here and a little shadow where the um, camera is sitting. And so it's just, like I said, just really subtle. You know, you don't want to overdo it with these kind of things. Um, I'm just having just enough to kind of give it this suggestion that it's sitting on something. You don't want your, your still life to be floating up in the air, okay? You want it to be sitting on something. Um, so that is what the look that we're going for right now. And I'm just gonna see if I can just do a little bit more here without overdoing it. You can see I just put some light in here and you can see where I have the resist, right? It's not not painting over where the resist is. Okay, um, so I, I think I'm pretty close to being done for this round. Um, like I said, I don't you don't wanna overdo it and that's the biggest issue that we tend to do is we, do, do, we overdo it, we do too much and then, it, then it's overworked and it starts looking like crap. So like I said, I think that this is just about it. I can put maybe a couple little little more detail in here, um, but not too much. I don't really need to do a lot there. Um, I think there's one little really dark line here that I might want to kind of just give a little bit of a definition to. And it won't hurt to connect to this dark area here because if they bleed in together, then it won't really matter. So just tiny bit more detail on this. Um, you know, I don't want to overdo it. So you can see I'm, I'm trying to keep it from being too much of, you know, doing too much um, and having it look crappy. So I'm just kind of doing a little tiny bit more detail on that and having it uh, hopefully turn out well. Okay, so that's it for this session, and we will continue on, uh, and the next session will be that we'll finish. We'll be peeling stuff off, and I'll put the fin I'll put the finishing touches on it, and you'll have a pretty good idea of exactly what, how many layers and and how much work you want to put into a painting before you declare it done.